great body control, excellent ball handling. And we've got a fight that's broken out up in the student section. And I don't know if a Wagner player is up there, but certainly some of them are trying to get there. And again, there are a couple of busloads of Wagner fans that I think that was where they were sitting. I don't see any of the players up there. Hopefully not. Well, the players were trying to get up there, that's for sure. But give the Wagner staff and the security people here in the building. But mostly the Wagner staff did a very good job of containing their players before this got really ugly. And it's not over yet. Obviously, we have no clue how this happened or what's happening, but the main thing is now Bashir Mason is doing the right thing. He's got his players all the way on the other side of the floor. I believe the announcement over the PA is saying that they will finish this game without fans. This is Bill Smith, the athletic director here at Bryant University. They are the chairs that did comprise the bench area for Wagner. As one of the officials comes over to talk to Tim Welsh and explain what the decision is, and Tim will share that with us in a moment. So you see number 11 Will Martinez was definitely trying to get up there but I don't think any of the players did get up there. Well the, the concern in, in Will Martinez Martinez certainly has to be calmed down uh, did not go up into the stands but you know these players their families are up there as well their parents their brothers their sisters their relatives and. We don't know exactly what's being set up there, but you've got people throwing drinks on each other, throwing Gatorade bottles at each other, and punches being thrown. You've got female students, and then one thing leads to another, and it's just mayhem. Watch the bench during the timeout. They see the stuff going on up in the uh, stands right behind them. And again, no players, as far as we know, were directly involved in any of this. This was fans of one school battling and fighting fans of the other. Well, the unfortunate thing is, leading up to this, they are in such tight quarters, and it's been clean all night long. I mean, a lot of frustration from the Wagner fans and Bryant fans' jubilation. Now we're going to get an explanation from the official. So now the officials coming back over to our broadcast location. They want to again take a look at the video that we have to further try and determine what should be done in this ugly situation. Well, the officials are over here basically, Doug. What they're trying to view is if, in fact, any players were involved in going into the stands. So during the timeout, it was interrupted by what was going on in the stands. And again, we obviously we don't know the particulars of what happened, but you know, as a Wagner player, obviously you can never go into the stands. You teach your team that obviously from day one. Everyone knows that, but the emotions of the night, the frustrations, and all of a sudden you're a player and you see a friend or a relative in a skirmish sure maybe your first reaction is to maybe take a step that way but I give the Wagner staff and their players and their assistant coaches and the security people a lot of credit this could have really got ugly if the players were got into the stands which they did thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to ESPN plus